what's happening on YouTube, Sunday morning, weekend off football, let's go and do the Black Nava. Okay, so you just join me just outside the Inverurie. We've got 21 miles to go to Huntley and then we've got to come off there and pick up the road to Dufton eh, through Whiskey Country. So just a quick bit about the journey so far. There's obviously been a fair amount of rain here in Aberdeenshire overnight. Um, so the range is pretty crap actually. I'm sitting at about 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour and I've only been sitting at about 65, 70 miles an hour on the Speedo um, on the A96. It's not the best road in the world for those of you that have driven on it, so it is pretty pretty damp as well at the moment. Weather is pretty cold, four degrees I think it popped up on my um, little alarm thing there, so again I am not expecting too, too much um, improvement in range between here and Huntley anyway. The weather over at Apple Cross and, and stuff was meant to be pretty okay, although still single digit figures in terms of temperature, but it was meant to be sunny at least, so I'm hoping that we can get there and we get a bit better weather and we can see some decent views. So I'll leave it there, we'll pick up the journey on time warp on the GoPro as we get through the Cairngorm National Parks and Whiskey Country. Stop here at Glenfiddich Distillery. I'm not meant to be parked here, but hey ho. Um, so I'm just going to get back onto the road, but I just thought I'd come here and get a couple of pictures. A uh, bit brighter up here just now. Weather's still pretty cold, I guess four or five degrees still, but efficiency was pretty good there. That's the first time I've really driven it on some twisty B roads, and it was it was okay. So we'll see how the car gets on in the next stretch of the journey. Uh, so we'll keep going on. We'll just get back onto this road, back onto the out towards Aviemore now and we'll pick the journey up then, catch you in a bit. So that's us just arrived at Tesla Superchargers in Inverness. Pretty easy to find, it's in a car park next to a shopping centre and stuff, so I'll wait to go and grab a coffee, get to the toilet. Um, and get some supplies before we head to Apple Cross. Uh, so as you can see, we're sitting at about 42% actually, uh, which is spot on from what uh, a bit of route planner was actually saying, and that was with a couple of little detours to distilleries and things like that. So we're going to charge here for about half an hour uh, based on the a bit of route planner advice, and um, that should give us enough charge to get to Apple Cross and back to here later on this afternoon. Um, yeah, as I expected, 51 kilowatt charge rate because um, obviously state of charge isn't quite high um, and the temperature has actually climbed up a little bit, 7.5 degrees here now in Inverness and sort of blue sky, so hopefully that'll continue for a bit longer. Um, so anyway, I'm off to get the toilet and get a few bits and pieces before we head off to Apple Cross, so I shall catch you on the other side. Okay, so that's us at 91% charge, it's given me a range of 204 miles, um, so I think I'm just going to make a move now, that should get me to Apple Cross about 64%, I think, and then up the, the coast road um, and back with about maybe 10-15% battery, so happy enough with that, I think there is a couple of charge place Scotland charging points um, in that neck of the world so I'll see how I get on with the drive and take it from there. One thing I am conscious of is that um, there's obviously I think six bays here uh, there's two Teslas in the end ones and there's myself and a BMW so I am conscious that myself and the BMW are basically taking out two parking bays so you do get a little bit of um, anxiety there but I'm just going to make a move now, get on the road and I'll pick it back up um, heading into Strathcarran, Loch Carran and Apple Cross. Catch you in a bit.
just taking a bit of a pit stop here at the beautiful Loch Garren. There you go. Um, so, yep, and just about a few miles from the Black and the Bar now. Um, the range has been pretty good actually. I mean, uh, the road's road's been quite quiet, but sitting about 60 probably on, on the way down. Um, efficiency was sitting about 3.2 kilowatt hour, um, 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour, I think. So it's actually improved. I'm, I'm looking to get into Apple Cross with about 61%, and the, a, a better route planner was actually saying maybe about 50 odd at one point. So I've actually gained about 10 to 15 miles in range. So we'll see how it gets hit when I head up the Black and the Bar. But I'm looking for a bit of regen on the way back down as well. So all good. I'm just about to get um, stuck into some lunch and then we'll be heading over to the Black and the Bar. Catch you then. stop at the Black and the Bar viewpoint so as you can see behind me what an absolute brilliant road that is wasn't too bad I think um, a lot of people talk about it being quite dangerous but what other than one camper van trying to get down at a tight bit um, they just reverse back to the, the best passing place other than that it's been fine so far so fingers crossed it stays that way got about halfway there so next stop Apple Cross Alrighty then, so we're just about to leave Apple Cross and I just came round to the, the little bay area so 
just um, off the shield ag now. It was actually pretty impressive coming down the, the, the black Naba there. I was at 60%, probably at, at the top roughly, um, and I actually gained 2% in my battery coming down the, the pass into Apple Cross, so I'm pretty chuffed. Um, a better route planner shown me getting to shield ag um, with around 50% battery, I think. And then that'll mean that I get back to Inverness Tesla supercharger with about 15-20% hopefully. So we'll see how we go and I'm about to hit the coast road now. So I'm looking forward to that and I'll catch you up at Shield Ag. So that's a set shield ag now, as you can see, what a cracking place, uh, really, really quiet. I actually think I preferred the coast road to the Black Naba. I think the Black Naba is obviously one to tick off the bucket list because of the height and the, the hairpin, and hairpin bends and, and stuff like that. But the coastal road was actually a better driving road, um, a bit more where you could open up a wee bit and obviously still bits and pieces where you pass. But um, nah, it was a cracking drive. So Shield Ag, um, a better route planner. Had a few jitters just with reception and stuff, I think. But um, got me to, to here with the planned um, range. So sitting at about 52% battery. So I should get back to Inverness um, to where I'm heading now to the Tesla supercharger with about 20%. So we'll see how we go. I think it is meant to be a bit wetter over that part of the country just now. So let's play it by ear. But um That'll be me, a quick pit stop at Tesla Supercharger in Verness just to get home to Aberdeen. And, um, but yeah, it's been a cracking drive so far. Definitely want to tick off the bucket list. I can imagine it'd be a bit of a nightmare in the summer, to be honest with you, with the amount of traffic. I mean, it wasn't that busy today, but it was still busy enough with, with cars. Um, but yeah, during the summer, I can imagine it's absolutely packed with cars, motorhomes, caravans, and all that kind of stuff, um, which would make it a bit bit tedious possibly but no crack and drive crack and scenery and let's get going
so that's me back at the Tesla supercharger in Inverness. Um, I have to say that was a cracking drive from Shieldag through past Torridon um, and, and back in Inverness. Absolutely brilliant drive. Um, I think it probably knocks the socks off the, the black and the bath, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, that's us back. So I'm going to be charging here now for another maybe 10, 15 minutes till we get to about 60%. Um, currently going about 66 kilowatts. It was up at 101 just um, when I first plugged in. So let's just take a quick look at the driving stats. Um, so that's from my house just outside Aberdeen. 296 miles, 8 hours, 2 minutes, 37 miles an hour average speed. 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, I'm pretty chuffed with that, to be honest with you. I'm quite happy. And yeah, so I'm just going to head back shortly and I'll just do one final check-in just to see total distance and consumption data when we get back home. So thanks if you've watched this far. It's been a great day, um, a long day, but well worth it. That's another one ticked off the bucket list and I've been delighted with the ENYAC in terms of how it's performed. Um, great round the roads, no issues whatsoever, so comfy to drive and economy. I didn't really have any range anxiety at all, to be honest with you. And I was really pleased um, seeing the recharge kick in on the way down into Apple Cross. So, no, all round, great day. Hopefully, um, it's dry on the way home. I know it's been raining back in Dice and Aberdeen pretty heavily all day. So, it looks like I've locked in with the weather because the weather was absolutely fantastic. So, um, thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one.